basement's formula is timing plus one meter for the 10 meter contour lines. And it works and it works okay, but what's better than that? Pacing. And if you have to cross 400 meters across terrain, you know you need to do four of your step lines. What is a re-entrant? It's where the contour line goes around this mountain, watch the tables here, and it re-enters the mountain and comes back out again. And here, okay, and you can even see the contour lines going in, the re-entrance, okay? Yeah. So again, they are re-entrants in between your fingers and your spurs, so. Yeah, an S, yeah, correct. Yeah. So try and find where S is on the map. Tall mountain shown there, and there's a smaller mountain shown there. So there's the church, for example. The little church and steeple, it's not a great picture. And in line with that is the big mountain. It's the yeah. or for Romeo, and S for Sierra. It's nearly touching nine, but it's not. It's eight. Okay, so it's nine, seven, eight. You bring the map into focus, you keep bringing it in. Is that all I'm getting, Philip? Oh, yeah. That's fantastic, and you can see contour lines and everything. Yeah. Dead in behind us. This one comes in and there's four crops. So one, two, three, four. So, if the contour lines are spread out a good bit, it means it's a flat plateau. But within a flat plateau, you can have a bit of undulations. See the undulation there ahead of you? So, anything that happens between this contour line and that contour line right, doesn't count. So it can go up and down, it can go down 8 metres and up 9 metres, and down 7 metres and up 8 metres and down 9 metres and up again. So whatever happens on this plateau, if it doesn't break or peak its head above the next contour line, it won't register. And then if it drops down and it doesn't go below the 10 metre contour line below it, it won't register. So these little undulations of 2 or 3 metres don't count and on your map it'll say it's flat. The uh, wind wasn't too bad here, wasn't it? It was going over our heads, so it was breaking like a bit of a wave. The wind was coming up that way, and then as we dipped up, we were like in the barrel of the wave, you know, coming down. As we get up here and up towards that spot height, are you expecting the wind to kick up or ease off? Oh. Big time. Yeah. We're going to have a quick game of what's in the bag. Right, these are dry bags. Awesome, right? So they separate your kit. So that's hats, gloves, socks, insulation gear. That's a small green bag, that's my helicopter kit. Leather gloves, goggles, ear defenders, spare earplugs if I need someone else to hang around. Kit. If you have a laminated map, you can just fold out to say a, a four way fold and stick it under you. It'll give you a bit of protection against a wet rock, but it won't give you the insulation. Now that's my first aid kit. That bit sticking out there is a roll of tape, right? Surgical tape stuff, tape is brilliant. Feel the weight of that first aid kit. That is what I would carry for a group of mountain scale, six people. Right there. Yeah. Right, yeah. And then we just 